Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Oh, hello. All right, nice, nice. If you can hear me, just um, give me a signal that you can hear me clearly. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm really, really excited to share with you this page builder. Trust me, you are going to love it. Yeah, you're going to love it because uh, it's very flexible, you know. It's, it's not like um the regular or popular page readers that uh we've been used to we are uh, most of the time you just work with a team a, a defined team but this one is very very flexible i'm going to show you just what makes it unique and i believe that um at the end of this section that you are going to be using it for your business okay so i'm going to share my screen let me know if you can see my screen. Give me a signal if you can see my screen. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, that's also awesome. all right. So the first step is to install the plugin, and then the name of this page builder is called Oxygen. So right now I'm going to start by installing this page builder on WordPress. Okay. All right. So I'll go back to my WordPress site. And basically, I've already installed it. I've already installed this. So you come over here. If you already know how to install um, um, plugins on WordPress, then I don't need to go through the process anymore. Basically, you come over here to plugins, and then you come to add new. That is to install a new WordPress plugin. But I have already installed this. I already installed it. Okay. All right. So. Now you just come over here to the install plugin because I've already done that, so I have it here. And um, basically, if you already have idea about WordPress, then you know how to install it, uh, a plugin. After installing, it, definitely you need to activate the plugin. So I'm not going to cover all of this because I believe that you already are familiar with it. Okay. If you have any question, if you want me to show you how to install um, a plugin, you can also let me know using the question tab over here all right and if not i can just proceed believing that you already know how to install plugins on wordpress all right okay so once you've installed the oxygen plugin which i'm going to give to you i'm going to give to you the download links um if those of you that joined the master class you're going to see the download link uh, uh in the master class section all right, where you can download it, okay? You can download the plugin for free. Now, if you're already, once you've installed it, uh, you can now start creating your site. Or well, now to do that, this is what made this plugin unique. It enables you to create what we call a template. First of all, let's preview this, um, this plugin. So here's the plugin over here. Basically, once you install plugins, they appear at the menu, and then this is the Oxygen plugin that we're going to be working with. If I click on Home, it will give me an idea. Of what to do so you can see how the new pages had a new page go to oxygen templates now we're going to start by creating a template for our site we're going to start by creating a template for our site so click on go to oxygen template okay so i created this template um the first time i'm going to create a new one that we're going to to use basically let me just delete this template let me trash it let me just trash it. All right. So I'm going to create a new template. Now, what is a oxygen template? An oxygen template is basically uh, the way your site is going to look. The uniform, like how you want the site to appear. Basically, every site has a header and a footer. All right. And now the most common thing of, of every site is the header and the footer because they are consistent. Now, what changes in every site is just the content. So we are going to create our header and our footer, what I will want it to look like, all right? And then save it as a template. So basically, that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to click on Add New Template. So let's call this template Main, sorry, main Template. All right. Now, please follow along closely. 
and then you can see over the year inherit design from other templates you just let the known leave it as it is and then does this template apply select order and then we select this option the cash or okay it's the latest option and then you click on publish all right so the next thing you can now edit with oxygen okay and then click on it so it's going to load the oxygen page builder right now we're gonna now create our template inside of the oxygen page builder we we'll define the structure of our site how our site is going to appear All right, so now let's start creating our site structure. So this is the B2, please follow along closely. You click on add element, and then you come to the library, select the design sets. So there are lots of cost options here we are, that you can choose from. I'm gonna start with the atomic, use the atomic option. I click on it. Now, it's going to uh, then click on the sections and elements. All right. So we have blogs, options for blogs that you can select for your site based on your need. We have headers that you can choose from. We have footers you can choose from. Contacts, content, various kind of contents that you can choose from. All right. And then you have social proof, you can choose from less and less of them. And then you have showcase different variations you can choose from. You can see it. Lots of options. We have people, different options you can choose from. We have heroes and titles, different options you can see that you can choose from. Take a look at it carefully. We have call to action, various options you can choose from. All right. Okay. And then we have pricing. So different pricing options you can choose from. You can also create from scratch, actually, but I'm not going to cover the aspect of creating from scratch in this very section. Um, that might, I might cover that tomorrow. So you want to learn to create certain options from scratch. You can do that very easily. And I'm going to show you that maybe um, tomorrow because I'm going to hold another webinar tomorrow again. So you can now take a look at this. So now let's start with the header because every site, like I said earlier, have a header and a footer. That is the base, the most important structure of a site. So let's choose header. So I'm going to go with this. So I select the header and it's going to as you can see, appear over here. And then let me add the footer. So I go over here. And then, uh, yeah, a lot of options here. Okay. So you can choose anyone. Okay. So now you can see the structure of your site over here. This is the structure of your site. We've added the header. We've added the footer. Now, every site, like you know, have a header. And they also have a content, followed by a content. The content is what, uh, what basically change. And then the next thing is the footer. Now we need a way to insert a placeholder that will hold for whatever content that we want to create on our site as we start building our site. Are we together? So I'm going to now add that section. It's a placeholder that I'm going to place in there. All right. So now to do that, you just come over here, click on add element. So I'm going to go back to the, um, to the top level, go to the basics, as you can see over here. And then select inner content. Okay. Click on the inner content. Now, wow, we select the inner content. And then you see it, uh, my inner content I've created before just comes up right here. Now, as you can see, the inner content is at the bottom and you, it needs to be at the middle. So you can just make the readjustment here. Look at it very easy. You just drag it up and then it comes set at the middle so your inner content appears right now at the middle so you have your site you can see just easily 
whatever content, whatever you create will automatically update it in. So let's save our template. Click on save changes. All right, good. So now we have saved our template. So let's go back and create a new page. All right. All right. So come here over here to pages, add new. All right, let's call this page. Um, let's call it demo, demo one. All right, and then once you enter the title, save, click on uh, um, save, save as draft. You have to save it first. Once you save it, then you the option comes up, edit with oxygen. Now it's going to load, and when it loads, this is what's going to happen. It's going to take the template that we have created. Okay, look at that. This is the template we have added our our header and our footer so this is going to be the structure of our site the template we are using all right so now all we need to do is just to uh modify the contents we cannot create different kind of content for different pages of our site very easily now you see why this this page builder is very unique different from the other page builders that um one has been using before because it they come with a lot of custom options when pre-made templates, and you can also build from scratch. You can easily make edits, flexible, all kind of flexible contents. It provides which Elementor does not. I have used Elementor, it's, it's limited. I've used a lot of page readers, they are very, very limited. But this has a lot of options which you are going to explore, okay? Now let's now create the content for this very page. Now it's very easy, click on add element. This is the base you can create from scratch, but like I said, we're not going to cover this uh in this very webinar so i'll just go to library i'll go to design sets again and i come over here now there are a lot of options you can click any of these options you see different kind of like of designs define design sections if i click on this and then i'm going to have different kind of designs for this i got this loading up all manner of design sets can you see it look at it it's so beautiful a lot of options a lot of options, call to actually different kind of designs. You have different kind of designs for your site that you can use, showcase, different kind of designs. So I can decide to use this option for this page. So I want this page to look this way. I'm trying to showcase something here on this page, All right? You can see that, you can see it, very beautiful, very flexible. You can edit the images, contents, look at it. You can link them up, image URL, library, different kind of options, right? You can link it. Look at it. Set the link where to go to. Look at it. Target self blank. You know stuff. Um, different. You can rearrange everything. I'm going to show that tomorrow. Tomorrow webinar. I'm going to show you how to create flexible. How to rearrange this whole content to look different, differently, completely flexible, unique, easily. It's very easy. I'm going to show you all of that, but I can't cover everything uh, in uh, on just one webinar, you know. So, okay. And um, now I'm going to add another section. Let's say um, testimonials section. Okay. So let's go back to add. And there you have two case. Um, we have social proof. Look for social proof. Okay. There you go. And um, look for a good section reviews. Okay. All right. So, all right. So I have this. I have this, all right, see that? I have this, and then let me have a contact section, contact section, and uh, contact here. I have this, okay. Now, look at this. If you take a look at the design, it's a bit, it's a bit overlapping, and you can easily make that adjustment by dragging it a little bit down, dragging it a little bit down. You can see how flexible this page with the is. Now you can see the beauty. Now you know you can't easily do this with other page builder. That's what I'm talking about, all right? And you can also restructure your site. Look at it. So everything you've added appears here. Look at it. You added um, under the inner content products. You added the products or projects, reviews, and then the contactors. You can rearrange them by dragging one up and bringing the other down. Of course, it ought to be this way anyway. Can just rearrange so it's just so easy for you to rearrange your site okay and you can 
set the margin just just the way i did earlier you can drag readjust elements you can adjust every element on the site but i'm not going to demonstrate this today all right I, I want to keep it simple so you don't get confused all right so let's save this and see what we have here all right i'm going to save it So let's um, view what we just created. So this is just a brief of what you can achieve with oxygen. So if you have questions, please do let me know. If you have questions, 